Well, welcome to the stream. We're gonna dive right the fuck in. And we're actually gonna explore a mega dungeon, which is what I insist on calling them. <clears throat> the game term is Legacy Dungeon, but that always makes me think of, like, a dungeon from a previous game or from a previous version of the game that's been ported into this one as a special treat. Not unlike the Chalice Dungeons. Oh, you love the energy. That's nice. I'm trying to be a little bit brighter and more cheerful than my last five streams in which I've basically been grumpy and miserable the whole time. So let's not bring that energy back in. Oh, try down. Oh, secrets. So um, yeah, the legacy dungeons are where Elden Ring gets the absolute closest it's ever gotten to being a Dark Souls. And they're my favorite parts of the game by far. It's really the only time where I felt like a little bit of the old Dark Souls spark and felt like I actually have a capacity to explode violently in order to attempt to destroy an invader where they are standing 18 feet away and in no way threatened by my vicious detonation. So these are the most fun to explore parts of the game. They're big, complicated, tangled, architectural locations, castles and castles and, uh, oh, a wizard academy in a, in a castle. So it's basically just castles, but, um, oh, hey, he survived. There's nothing quite as threatening as being at the exact point of, uh, developing your power in a RPG like this, where you can't quite kill people in a specific number of hits and they survive with one hit point left because every single time I think I've killed them and I haven't. So these are really complicated tangled layered zones and there's a lot of interesting stuff to see in them and they are stuffed full of secrets. Lots of you know sneaky ledges for you to jump over and balconies that aren't really balconies and invisible doors sometimes and guys hiding behind you also ready to explode if you're not careful. Although this guy seems more interested in fighting me with a pike, which is more sensible, frankly. And before anyone has a go at me, I'm well aware that that is just a standard arming spear and not a, not, not a pike. Not that an arming spear is a thing, but you get what I mean. Um, anyway, so downstairs there's a giant root monster that's killed me about eight times. I'm inclined to go get my enormous pile of souls. By which I mean about 80,000 souls. By which I mean about 85,000 runes. Not clear on the rune to soul exchange rate, anyway. So he's over there? Somewhere? There he is. Okay, so if I can get up here before he gets close enough to start shooting god lasers at me, which, as we all know, is what brute clumps do. Like, I don't know if you've ever tried to take up gardening, but, like, my mum's been a gardener for a good few years. I think it was one of her main hobbies when I was a kid, and she'd kind of come back to it in retirement and so on. And, um... Yeah, she's always complaining about it. The, ooh, McKellen Knight Sword. That'll be interesting. Try Elden Ring. What? <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. You know what? I'm actually gonna. I'm actually gonna save that with my clever little additional recording studio option, so that I can add that to the fun little video I've been making, reviewing messages I find in Dark Souls, which I haven't. Which this isn't. This is, in fact, Elden Ring. So, let's have a look. Try Elden Ring. Yeah, I sure would like to. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to give that one like a 7 or, or 8 out of 10 because it's, it's a joke I haven't seen before. And those are thin on the fucking ground in Elden Ring, I'll tell you that for free. Also, where the hell does this go? That's back down where we dropped down from. I'm not going to get the chance to get back up here anytime soon because, you know, Rooty the Root Monster will just devour me with, with god lasers, which, as I was saying, was a major problem my mother's been experiencing. Um, you'd, think, you'd think being a devout Christian would, would kind of give you some kind of resistance to deity monsters, but it turns out that the worship of the Erd Tree and the worship of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ are not quite the same thing. Also, to be clear, I am not a Christian. I was raised Christian, and I escaped, and I'm glad to be shot of it. I kind of miss the community aspect, though, but that's only because I went to the single most, like, progressive church imaginable, full of various 
you know, queer people who didn't seem to have a problem with the historical injustices the church has perpetrated against them. But um, that's besides the point. Anyway, um, yeah, we had this big gnarled old tree at the very back of our garden. And I remember when we... um, and we had to call in tree surgeons to uproot and remove the thing because it was dead, yeah. and uh, it was a it became a falling risk at some point. And um, yeah, we lost three of them on the first day. Um, we, in the end, we just kind of had to put up with with paying the the blood cost. But such is life. I think I've been over here already. I love it when the NPCs try to use my tricks against me. Oh, oh, you're going to do a block encounter? Well, what if I do this instead? And then you're dead. And, well, you're not dead, really, because nobody can die in this world anymore. It's a consistent problem. And um, one that various different people have asked me to solve in various different ways. But there was an item over here because... Well, I guess there is an item over here again now, because that white blast of sparks means that this guy's dropped an item. There are... I've always liked the way that FromSoft games do kind of items and item drops and things. Did I find found something else over here? I can't remember what that was either. Wow, it's nice to feel competent for the first time in weeks. I'm starting to think that maybe the fact that I, I wasn't sleeping more than a couple hours a night for two months may, 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 just may, have been a contributing factor to me being terrible at this video game. Because here I am, having had a nice, solid eight hours, and here I am successfully dodging and jumping over pike thrusts and doing all that cool Woxia shit that everybody loves. Anyway, so there's definitely more secret things that I could find down there, but what I really want to do is kill that boss over there before he becomes more of a problem. It's kind of tempting to blast away at him with from here with spells, considering I am a sorcerer, and that's kind of supposed to be my deal. But, oh, maybe I can inflict him with rot. That would suck for him. I'm definitely better ranged with a bow right now. Where is my bow? Oh, the silver mirror shield. I didn't know I had that. Shield of radiant silver festooned with amber and carried by Loretta, Knight of the Halic Tree. Shape is said to imitate that of a sacred dewdrop, which inspired the absurd rumour that Loretta herself was an albinoric. I mean, I don't see wh Why is it? Hmm, interesting. I love the tiny little glimpses that you get into the culture of these people. Um, apparently, it's unlikely that an albinoric would be a knight of some kind. I wonder if that's because they are considered some kind of lesser minority or whatever, which wouldn't be surprising considering they were created as a servant race by wizards for... I mean, that's what wizards do. That's the kind of... Like, traditionally, that is that is the kind of thing wizards do. And it's a dick move, but unfortunately, wizards gonna wizard. Now, if I can just hit him with enough of these before he causes me problems, it should be more of a problem for him than for me. Which is generally what we hope when we shoot arrows at someone. Oh, hey, can I hide behind this? Will that work? <laughs> I've invented cover. But I can't actually hit him from here properly. I could just plink arrows at him until he dies. Or I could get murdered myself. That's also an option. Probably my best option to fight that is to actually get up close and personal if I can summon my Mimic to help me fight. They only have access to- well, they they always have access to that spell and they use it all the fucking time, but when you get into melee with, with them they will sometimes try to do melee attacks instead, which is to your benefit if you are trying not to get hit. Also, this hat makes me look like a question mark. Let's go back to my horrible, ugly strength boosting mask. Hmm. So all of the different zones have men at arms and knights who belong to the various different rulers who are the various different demigods, because, you know, 
Medieval rulers really don't do love to claim divine descent. Actually, no, that's not true. By medieval times, they'd kind of stopped claiming divine descent and started claiming personal connections to, you know, Christian history or whatever, because, I mean, that's basically the same thing from the Christian perspective rather than from, you know, saying that Odin was your great, 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 great grandfather. Um... But yeah, I I just, I really like that. One of the things I've always really liked about FromSoft's fantasy games uh, is there is there is a sort of a level of historical verisimilitude to the costuming and design. People look like they're wearing hauberks and jerkins and this guy who's very clearly wearing the thing that I can't remember what the word is, the, the, the big thick padded jerkins people used to wear under chainmail or instead of chainmail, Gambeson, thank you. My uh, my producer has just has just alerted me to my incorrect well my the correct term that I was in fact looking for. But yeah, um, I've always found that kind of interesting. It feels like the the down payment on becoming a knight, you know, and anyone can afford a Gambeson, uh, but nobody can afford chainmail, so it'll still protect you a little bit. Anyway, these guys are men-at-arms, and the actual knight knights tend to be a lot tougher. I don't need anything over here. Can I drop down? Uh, I, might, I might be able to survive that drop, but I'm not going to risk it. Thanks, Morak. But uh, the person, my, my partner, who I jokingly refer to as my producer because she sits in the same room as me and occasionally tells me words like Gambazon, uh, got there first. That's actually one of the really frustrating things I've noticed since COVID, is that I just forget what nouns are quite a lot more often. Well, that's going to be a tough fight. Let's not fight that just yet. So from here, there was a rooftop I could drop down to, which would help, which would get me something. Um, oh, but yeah, no, it's not just like, even, even a lot of the sillier pieces of costuming have a sort of a physical realism to them that I appreciate. Uh, not the giant stone masks, obviously, but you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of believable fe feeling helms and uh, chainmail coifs and so on. There's not quite the same kind of, um, you know, 1600s feel plate field plate or nothing kind of kind of deal that you get in a lot of fantasy games and just fantasy media in general. Uh, but yeah, so there was somewhere I could drop down from up here, I think. Ah, there we go. What are we going to find over here? Fucking nothing. Jack and or shit. Oh, time for sorcery. Oh, huh. Can I? Hmm. This could be potentially a decent sniper spot if I can hit that guy from here. If I can tag him with an arrow, I can probably lure him back over here. The question is, can I hit him without him hitting me with lasers? And thereby cheese the entire thing. Which is, of course, the secret way of dealing with problems in this game. Um, hmm. I do have enough souls to level up. By souls, I of course mean runes, because I play a lot of dark souls. This man's about to explode. <laughs> I'm leaving, goodbye. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, this zone is a secret zone at the end of a secret zone, and uh, it's pretty nice. The whole deal here is that this is, is the realm of Mikella, I think, who is one of the various demigods who are all the children of another end name. Like I said, since COVID, I can't remember proper nouns. Like, they, just, they just drain away out of my head. Which is why I forgot the word Horberk, which I have been fucking saying since I... That's not even the word I forgot. I forgot the word Gamberson, which is a word I have been saying since I was 14, because I'm a history nerd. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... The various children... There's, there's sort of one god who's the, the proper god of the world, and her various assorted shitty children are dueling for bits of... Um, bits of the Elden Ring, which is the last which was the sort of the linchpin of reality the representation of the structured order of existence 
And I, I spoke in last stream a little bit about my theories about, for example, why runes are the upgrade material instead of souls like the previous game. Oh, hey, that guy can spit poison. That's new. I haven't seen him do that before. As you can see, I kind of overuse the jumping attack, but it's just incredibly effective. Um, hi, Blob. Nice to see you. Now, what the fuck was I talking about? Right, yeah, so... The deity at the core of this place... Um, Michaela. Michaela? Maybe? It's one of, like, four different M names. I assume it's, um, George R.R. R. Martin and his terrible influence that has resulted in every single deity in this game having, like, chains of names that are very similar to one another. Because it's... Mm, something. Actually, let's... Let's fucking hash this out. Let's figure this out. Where, where's my enormous collection of medallions? Um, let's see. Marika. So Marika is, like, the, the, the big god who's in charge of everything. And Radagon, spoiler warning, is part of herself. She split herself in two in order to have children, I guess. Um, but then at some point, Radagon married... Now that I think about it, Radagon married Renala, who is also one of Marika's children, I think, because she's a demigod, and I think all the demigods are her children. So it's all a little bit Greek myth up in here. Um... And anyway, the various many children born of this union have become various different demigods. And since the shattering of the Elden Ring, which was a big old ring in the sky, which represented the correct structured order of reality. Um, anyway, ever since that disastrous mistake, they've been grabbing little bits of the Elden Ring. The big runes are the ones that matter, the sort of various core linchpins representing key concepts like blood, or order, or death. Um, anyway, the important thing that matters is that over here, Michaela's Halig tree is a sort of a secondary magic tree, in addition to the Erd tree, which is the tree that represents the universe and everything in it, and is from which all life has sprung. I could jump down here. That would probably let me get the drop on that one over that boss, mini boss over there. Do I want to try and? I'm going to try and do this properly. Um, so. Oh, hey. <laughs> it's this guy. Oh, I found a cool sword. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, Michaela's whole deal. I'm not entirely sure what Michaela's whole deal was, but at some point or in some way. They became the host to a disgusting disease called the Scarlet Rot, which escaped in some way and infected this entire section of the continent. How it got from here to there is a mystery. But also I think that Michaela himself is missing from this place because I fought Moog the Lord of Blood in the underground, who appeared to have stolen Michaela from this this divine cradle for his own nefarious purposes oh cool sword where was my cool sword inventory sword collection i really need to sell some of these daggers and maybe some of these lord Str lord sworn straight swords as well try saying that try saying that three times fast uh, Michaela Knight's Sword. Forged by the servants of Michaela the Halig Tree, of the Halig Tree, with a design modelled after those carried by Carrion Knights. Instead of glintstone, amber from the Halig Tree is embedded in the blade. So I guess that does... Divine damage? Yeah, holy damage. A sumptuous piece, yet it has never been offered to any knight. An ill-starred sword with no master. I do like, I do like the writing in this. It's very from softy. Um, there's a kind of like an echoing grandeur to everything. It's probably a secret down there I could get to as well. I'm just a little bit redu reluctant to push too far forwards without circling back because most of the other ones have been laid out in a sort of a two-dimensional sort of way, whereas this appears to be laid out in more of a more of a vertical tiers thing. It's very Minas Tirith. Oh, I have fought these before. Uh, they like to throw frisbees. 
But if I can lure them outside, then that will be to my advantage. That's probably going to miss. No, there we go. Alright, now that it's a fair fight, by which I mean an incredibly unfair fight because I'm way stronger than these guys, uh, I can go back to talking whatever I was talking about. Sumptuous Pete is, yeah. Sumptuous Pete is going to be my drag king name. That's a joke, I don't intend to do drag. Um, or if I did, I'd pick a better name. Apologies to any sumptuous peats who might be watching. Hmm, okay, that looks like it goes on to where we could also see. That looks like a free item for me. This looks jump toable, but does it help me in any way to jump to here? I don't know yet. Uh, oh, right, that's where I thought about dropping down to. That lets me drop down, and then that will probably also let me drop down to the very bottom. So... Um, aha, a secret room. The real joy of the, the big dungeons is these, are these just like endless, endless numbers of weird little secrets to find? Uh, aha, I love secret loot. Oh, interesting. So this is, this is part of one of the many, 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 why are there crystallians here? I hate those things. Uh, do I want to try and out magic a guy made of magic? Let's see what happens. It's fucking nothing. Anyway, they're really irritatingly tough to fight. They have incredibly high damage resistance up until you stagger them uh, and get at least one critical hit on them, at which point they take normal damage normally. But they're also pretty tough to fight because they have these erratic and bouncy attack patterns. And as you can see, there's multiple. I've never really successfully fought multiple Crystallians. Well, I mean, I fought the boss ones multiple times. That was a big waste. I'm just gonna, You know what? I'm just going to drop on it and see what happens. These look like the corrupted ones, which is frustrating. Yeah, that's going to kill the shit out of me. Because the corrupted ones can hit you through the wall, apparently. Uh, the corrupted ones have, have rot. Uh, infections, I guess is the term. There we go. Right, meet your end. They're relatively easy to poise break and to stun lock with jump attacks, which is one of the reasons why I've been using this sword a lot. Just because I can- oh fuck! Oh fuck off, I hate you. Go away! Ugh. Those might be the single most frustrating enemy in the game and I hate fighting them. Uh, however, if I run away and climb this ladder, I think I might be alright. Bye! <laughs> Catch me now! <sighs> oh shit, Ugh, hi. <laughs> Self-critical automaton wins again. I'm invincible. Is he going to climb back up? Yeah, okay. So I'm not sure where the rot has come from. Most of the sort of like various different... Oh shit. Bad things of the world have come from various different places. Um, you know, there's usually some kind of a, a reason why a curse is... A, you know, wrought and, and causes problems for everyone everywhere. Um, I hate these so much. They're a nightmare to fight because they attack very, very, very fast and they have a lot of, a of attacks to do. They have very long chain combos. They're almost impossible to stagger um, and they teleport as well, which is just the shitty icing on the cake, really. Which is not really a cake you should be eating, if you can avoid it in any way. So I had enough to level up again, which doesn't happen to me very often nowadays. So I should really try and get that back if I can. It looks like the explosive guys can harm each other, but not other NPCs, which is curious. 
Also, entertainingly, I actually have the same capacity as them to explode on, on demand, provided I have a minute to set up, because I have found two magic crystal tears to put in my magic crystal tear bottle, um, which have the elemental effect of make you explode. Oh. Lovely. I think that gives me the full Halig Tree set now. Um, but yeah, so I know that Michaela's sister? Uncle? Something. Uh, uncle? No, that's not it. There's Melania? Melania. That's... Wait, hang on. God damn it. Why is there... Why are there so many people with very similar names? One of them is called Melania, and the rock came from Melania, and one of them is called Michaela, and the rock did not come from Michaela. And one of them is the greatest swords person to ever exist. And one of them is a tiny little baby hidden in a tiny little baby cocoon. And the boss of this area is probably going to be the greatest swords person ever. And one of the toughest bosses in the game, based on people complaining about them on Twitter. Um... You know, I think I might... By the way, how's the stream? It's not too... It's not all juddery or stuttery or anything, is it? We changed our internet recently. Where's him? There he is. There him is. It's time for him to meet his maker. By which I mean I'm going to shoot him with poisoned arrows. That might be a rot-infected one, in which case I probably can't infect it with rot. Oh, no, he can still hit me. I thought he couldn't. Probably need to be careful about this. Whenever I'm cheesing something, I always just forget to talk, even though cheesing something is the best time to talk, because otherwise it's just bad radio. <gasps> and what would happen if he fell down? Would he die? I mean, I probably would. I think maybe this one can't be infected with rot. Do I have any other special arrows? I could try poison. I've probably got enough poison arrows to poison him. Rot and poison are different... Uh, status effects, so you can actually inflict someone with rot and poison to get them to die very painfully. But maybe I should just maybe I should just hammer it with normal arrows. The advantage of poisoning big opponents that you can only hit occasionally is that you keep doing damage to them, even when you are hiding from the goddamn howitzer barrage that they are launching at you. Hey, why don't you turn around and get caught on some scenery again so I can pepper you with my arrows a little bit more. I'm not even sure if they're weak to anything. I mean, fire would be the obvious guess. Considering that they are, like, root stumps of lesser erd trees. Lesser erd trees having been the... Desperate attempt of the Erd tree to propagate itself. I mean, there's definitely items that have mentioned that the Erd tree was considered to be perfect and therefore incapable of reproduction because it is just a linchpin of reality. It never needs to be reproduced, right? So why would it be capable of that? Um, but it's kind of funny to consider that when the Elden Ring broke, everyone was like, well, shit, what are we going to do now? And then the, the the fundamental linchpin of reality that's supposed to be inviolable suddenly goes boomph and shoots a million seeds out all over the place. Um, now, see, if I wasn't still very sick from from long, long COVID, long coronavirus 19, and was therefore capable of making jokes and being funny, I would have made some kind of incredibly joyful, lewd comment there. But uh, I'm not, so I won't. I'm just going to keep cheesing this thing until it dies. 
Anyway, so hopefully I will get some kind of an answer here about the origin of the rot itself. Uh, but possibly not, since, as I said, um, the guy who was supposed to be here appears to have been stolen. Now, I know what you're thinking. What you're thinking is probably, oh look, you've run out of healing potions. Fortunately, I have barely ever used the zillion items I've been picking up throughout the entire run of the game, so I do in fact have as far as I can tell, the only non-renewable healing items in the game. I think you can buy them infinitely if you like, which will give me very slow healing. Bit by bit. Should probably pop this first as well, which will give me uh, a shield which will block exactly one hit and uh, a special ability which will bring me back at like 25 hit point, 25 percent hit points if I happen to die. Am I ever going to get the blood loss on this thing? So this is this is the worst possible way to fight one of these, and indeed it's the worst possible way to fight any boss in the game. But um, while I enjoy the fighting these guys in the open when I'm freely able to- Oh, he fell down! <laughs> it died! <gasps> it did die from the fall! Oh my god. Oh, fantastic. Wonderful. Absolute. Absolutely stellar. Great job, my guy. Wowzers. Okay. Fantastic. Enemy felled. Or whatever. Or whatever the line is. Yep, I show you the real good way to play. I show you how to be good at this game. No, I don't really. Uh, now, where the fuck did I die? It was down... I was down in the, the toilet, down in the, the horrible basement place. That's where I should go and try and get my insane amount of souls back. Um, let's see. I ran away from these crystallians. Or crystallians. Uh... And then I died out here somewhere. It was over there, around that corner. So if I'm fast enough, I can probably get my souls back and get back up vertically. Or maybe, actually, you know, I'm going to summon my buddy. I probably should have rested. <laughs> I probably should have rested at a, at a Grace first. Uh, I need to go inside and never touch Grace again. Actually, considering Grace is a name, that's, that makes it sound weird. I was referencing Touch Grass. It's nice to see these things finally come in handy. I've got about 30 of them in my item box because I never, ever, ever need to use them because I'm amazing at video games. Sneaky Sneaky should get it done with a bit of luck. That's... Wait, that's the ladder I tried previously. I was fucking Spider-Man. Did I go the other way? I don't think I did. No, I ran up there and then I fell back down again like an idiot. Oh boy, here we go. Hey, can you take point on this? Me? Fucking fantastic. Nice job, you missed. So if we can hit it enough, we can stagger it. There we go. These are normally more of a problem than I'm making this one look. <laughs> the only reason I was able to deal with this was because it was trying to fight my ghost instead. Uh, my mimic. And so instead of, you know spitting poison on me like it was supposed to. It spit poison at me. Do you think Elden Ring and Elden Ring's Mimic ever explored each other? I'm getting a, I'm getting a questionable look. Okay. Oh hey, if I climb up here, that guy is probably going to climb down again. But I should take care of him just in case. Anyway, hopefully this will lead around to the back side of the room with the two uh, clean rot knights in, which will make life a bit easier for me if I take them out this way. Or I might just meet another clean rot knight who I don't particularly want to fight right now. Or, you know, my amazing minion who saves the day might get me killed. Oh, Christ. Hey, could you backstab or something? Like, come on. There we go. Whew. I need, like, a healing spell or something. Um, 
Except the problem with... Oh, hang on, I'll just use this. Which will help. Slightly. Is there anything... Okay, so that's that leads up back to that other... To, to another terrace that I haven't seen yet. This is a room with a bunch of dead guys in. That's definitely another goddamn knight. Which way is it facing? Is this, is its back to me? I think that's an elbow, so yes. Get wrecked. Anyway, anytime you can summon the Mimic here, the game gets immediately a lot easier. Um, being able to summon spirits at all usually makes the game a lot easier, but the thing about the Mimic is that because it's equipped exactly like you are, it's usually exactly as broken as you are, and... I mean, players do love to, to break the game. Ooh, I can... can I jump to that from here? Maybe? Probably not. I will bonk my little heady on the... Uh, rather lovely buttress underside decoration, which probably has a proper architectural term, but I do not for the life of me know what it is, even though I grew up scion of an architect. So that's really on me, isn't it? Or maybe it's your fault, Dad, for not making sure I know words like architrave and lintel. Um, which, since I don't know them, are, of course, just noises coming out of my head. But, I mean, you guys are here to listen to noises coming out of my head, so that's really... Uh... Half of the course, I suppose. Anyway, there's another, uh, there's another one of those goddamn noble guys. Yeah, there he is. Fuck. Hey, hold his attention. Thanks. No, I said hold his attention. My god, these are easier to fight when you have a minion. thing about the minions, which anybody who has seen any of this game will know, but which I am just mentioning just in case anyone who's watching doesn't. By the way, I'm sure that all six people watching are, of course, uh, already aware of all this, but I have a YouTube channel where I make in-depth Let's Plays that you should go and check out because they're really good. Oh shit, there's another one of those. Hmm, that could be a problem to fight. Uh... And also, uh, yeah, my Twitch channel is this one. You should give me a follow and a YouTube subscribe, and uh, check out my Patreon, and donate to me on Ko-fi, and all of these lovely things, except that I'm sure you all are already aware of all of that, so where the hell are my good, my good, good juicy stones? There they are. So there are certain little monuments which are the only places you can summon spirits, and as you can see, I'm right on the edge of a monument zone right now, which is why my Mimic is on the verge of flickering out, so gotta be careful. Also, it's very amusing to me that saying, hey, why not check out my stuff, caused me to lose a, <laughs> lose a viewer. It happens every time. Uh, I guess people don't want to be acknowledged. Nobody likes the mortifial ordeal of being known. You good, buddy? Oh, it gets healed too. That's nice. That's nice. I uh, should be able to kill those guys from here without bothering the gi giant tree sentinel. Oh, wait. This could be bad. I'm going to leave. After all, the closer I get back to... <laughs> I love hearing the, the, the grunts and whines in the background of my, my minion getting slaughtered. Okay, right, I know where this is. I can get to this pretty easy. That's nearly two level ups worth of souls. Uh... Ooh, boy, oh boy. Also, fun fact about the the true root mini bosses or bosses, depending on where you are in the game, is that they does that one respawn actually? They've never respawned before, but anyway, they um are actually just reskins of the stray demons from the Dark Souls series. There are quite a few reused assets and reskinned models uh, that sh share the same move sets. Which I'm completely fine with, um, but it is always really funny to walk up to a giant tree root and be like, what an interesting new thing to fight. And then it takes two steps and swings its hammer and I'm like, oh, I know all of your moves already. 
It's very shonen. <gasps> I've studied all of your, studied all of your moves. I know exactly what you're going to do in any given moment. So it is interesting to see which different philosophies the different uh, groups in the game world cling to. Because as you go through the game and you gather up various different bits and bobs from various places, you can kind of learn a little bit about the individual people who live in the different places, not just the demi specific demigods that they serve. Um, that's an enigma that's part of a puzzle that I'm not dealing with right now, but... The tree and beast, because uh, Godric God and Godric's people are followers of, you know, the Erd tree and what it represents, but they also sort of worship a, a divine beast ancestor figure. Um, the cuckoo surcoat. I mean, actually, I have a I have something interesting to say about this. So the iconography of the cuckoo is like the symbolism of the cuckoo is very much the thing that shouldn't be there, which has snuck inside and is pretending to be something that is a part of your, your world and your system and your place. Something that is pretending to have a rightful place that it does not. So it's interesting that um, right, the, the icon of Rhea Lucaria is, in fact, the cuckoo. Because um, sorcery is kind of not really supposed to be here. Sorcery comes from stones that fell from the sky. Um, all, all sorcery comes from glintstone, and all, all glintstone is extraterrestrial. Oh, fuck. forgot about the twins. Hop. Anyway, yeah, so it's interesting that the um, the iconography for Rhea Lucaria kind of is another hint to the fact that sorcery is not really of this world. Um, and the various different kinds of sorceries that you find kind of reflect that too. Like, glintstone sorcery seems like a natural part of this world because, you know, there's, there's sorcerers who study it and all of this kind of stuff. But the difference between, you know, carrion sorcery and glintstone sorcery and um, and the sort of purple gravity-based sorceries is kind of ambiguous and not super relevant to anything. But, oh, I'm just a tiny bit far too late. No, nope, I got him. It's fine. Um... But the, uh... but yeah, what you learn as you go along is that is that you know glintstones fell, fell from space, as did the various space monsters that fell from space. How am I too far away to target you? Come on. Uh, which are some of the bosses that I still can't beat. I have, actually haven't gone back and tried to fight one in like 20 or 30 hours, so, you know, maybe I would do okay now, but god, I hated those bosses. They were really not fun. Anyway, these knights, provided I can uh, get one hit on them, I can usually keep them staggered. Provided I don't run out of stamina, which I should probably do something about. Actually, I do want to know what the deal is with the Clean Rot Knights as well. I found various different Clean Rot stuff. Um, they're supposedly the Knights who are supposed to contain the Rot, uh, which means that they should be connected to uh, General Radan's forces, but that's... I guess there's two forces dedicated to controlling the Rot. Radan and Melania fought each other to a standstill. And I guess they're both corrupted by the Rot, but Melania brought it to this place. I don't know. Or to that place, rather. That's a mystery for another time. The mystery for right now is, where the hell is my bloodstain? Should be right over there. But yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting and fun how there's various different cosmological facts that are just facts about the nature of this world, but different people worship different things in different ways while still recognizing that it's all part of the same sort of, like, global divine ecosystem. Such as, you know, the Golden Order worship the Elden Ring itself, which is the representation of the correct structured ordering of reality. Um, 
but that's not not tied to the uh, to the Erd tree itself. And um, they kind of one flows from the other, and they're tied together. You know, different linchpins of reality holding different things together. I'm rambling and repeating myself, but that's fine. Nobody minds. Didn't expect friend. Oh, did I kill a friend? I'm sorry if I killed a friend. Um, right, that's where that is. I'm definitely missing some stuff that I want to go back and and find. I tend to have this very sort of like rotational cycling method <laughs> as I explore these kind of zones, as I try and keep track of things to come back for, and I have to go this way because I jumped over that thing. Oopsie whoopsie. But this should put me within range to summon my my guy. I had my guy summoned up here previously. Where's my why can't I have my guy? My special boy. Uh my my big time gal, my 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 two handed swordmaster, my stinky cheese. Um I don't want to fight you out here or at all, because you're very tough. See, that's the real risk. There might there's always another one. It's like spiders. <laughs> Ouch. I'm probably gonna die of the Scarlet Rock before I get the chance to stand back up and drink a potion. Oh! Oh, how's that for timing? Oh, Nelly. Okay. Now if I sprint all the way back up and around, <laughs> I might be able to get away with this. Uh, am I being chased by anyone else? Doesn't look like it. There's definitely another clean rot knight around, though. I did have a guy, but now I don't. Soon I will have a guy again. But first, I need to not be dying of being stabbed by that guy. Oh, nice. <laughs> right after- I always seem to get the uh, healing benefit of someone rating one of my messages exactly after I use a healing item. It's really consistent. Anyway, you want to go too? You want some? Come on, motherfucker. I can take you all. <laughs> oh, I love being good at video games. Wow. Anyway, this is one of the latest Game of Late Game locations, which you can tell by the fact that I'm actually getting enough to level up constantly, even though I'm at level 100 and blah blah blah. Uh, 139. And... Oh, shit. Do I have... I do not, in fact, have any, any capacity to make more preserving boluses. Do I have anything else that cleans away infection? I'm sure I had something. I have I have something that cures every single status ailment, and I can't remember what the fuck it is. Is it one of these? Nope. Is it one of these? Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. Nope. Was it a... Sp I've definitely got a spell that does it, but I don't have it equipped. I probably sh should go back to keeping that spell equipped, because uh, it seems like an important one for not dying. But I thought I had something that cured every... I thought I had a, a special little something. A je ne sais quoi. A uh, mystical flibbity flab. And I know I'm not making much sense today, but you know what? It's the fucking brain damage I have, so don't worry about it. Uh, God damn. Okay, it's not any of these things. Oh, hang on, I know what it was. It was a crystal tear to put in my uh, flask of crystal tears or whatever the fuck it's called. There's a lot of fantasy nonsense in this game. There's a lot of evocative noun-verb pairings. Um, Not that that's what that was. I hate the I hate the effect when you have the rot. It makes me feel stinky. I just showered just a little while ago. Why am I looking at like this? You know. Oh hey, hi. Uh, you were gonna shoot me with that, weren't you? No, no. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you were. Be honest. You were gonna fucking murder me with crossbows or ballistae or whatever the fuck they are. You see, you see how it feels to be murdered. It's not cool, is it? I think it kind of sucks as an experience. Speaking of murder. Bonk. 
Oh, I can summon my guy, my special boy. <laughs> my good time lord. Um, I'm going to shoot these guys to death first. With magic. It's really nice. It's so lovely. Um, from Soft... Oh, right, That's. I was going to talk about this earlier when I was talking about how From Soft do, like, a good line in... in historical realist fantasy to some extent the weapons aren't they don't have the kind of uh blizzard style nonsense attribute do you know what i mean like a sword pretty much looks like a sword it doesn't have like usually have <laughs> a lot of silly shit going on and the ones that are are usually magical implements you know rather than a sword you're this intended to hit someone for sword purposes um you know, the swords more or less look like swords historically did, with a bit more ornamentation on some of them. Um, and that is true of the architecture as well. One of the delightful things about the about Dark Souls 1, which I talk about extensively in my long, long as hell let's play of Dark Souls 1, um, is just the fact that they have factored in uh, the visual design of the areas with... Um, shit with what that might mean <laughs> for the people who lived there please don't kill me okay sooner or later i'll reach a point where i've killed everything in the area and i can explore a little bit more safely but for now i need to focus on getting that blood stain and in fact i'm going to swap this out for oh, i don't have any left okay well i'm going to swap it for something else anyway Let's go for extra physical damage resistance. Still, I know where I died. Uh, it should be a fairly straight shot there. Maybe the explosion does only harm themselves and me. Which seems unfair, although I suppose if it's a divine blessing, it makes sense that the worshippers un are unaffected. Same cannot be said for this fellow's lumbar region. Uh, but yeah, so, like, um, and one of the consistent things is that I say this all well all the time is a bit of a stretch but i say this with some regularity which is that one of the really interesting things about the dark souls games and about elden ring is that um they are fantasy games made in japan but they are very much in the western fantasy milieu um there's a few of these they're not they're not it's not uniquely a from soft thing but there is a genre of fantasy which is western fantasy it's, it's kind of like Jap Japanized Western fantasy. There's got to be a better term for it, but it's like um, this this descent of um, this kind of like lineage rather of uh, games and pop cultural media and so on that has led to a specific fantasy aesthetic um, in Japanese pop culture, and it is not Western fantasy, but it is often referred to as Western fantasy from within Japanese pop culture. Um, whereas something like Dark Souls is, you know, Western fantasy made from that Japanese lens rather than the Jap Japanese genre of Western fantasy, if you take my meaning. Anyway, From Soft are one of my favorites because they take that idea and really run with it and they actually do a lot of histor hor historical research into gothic architecture for example um and i think the gothic architecture throughout their games is, is some of the best architecture in their games but it is interesting the way these things are are done generally speaking over the course of a whole bunch of stuff oh don't wiggle that i need you to cast spells with it or maybe, you know, maybe he'll blow himself to fuck. That's always always an option, too. Get magicked. Wowzers, that could have been bad.
Yeah, I would actually really like to get the art book for this one. I have the art book for, um, f for uh, Dark Souls 1. I have Dark Souls design works, which is really interesting because it's got a bunch of translated interviews with the, uh, the game's director as well, Hidetaka Miyazaki. And um, there's a lot of really just good, nice design ideas in there and insight into the design process of him as a director and his studio as the studio because I, I do think it's a shame that people tend to forget about the the fact that these games are massive collaborations between large numbers of people there is no one singular creative vision and obviously the skill of a of a good director like uh well any of the good the handful of good directors in the game industry is the ability to bring a singular vision but even that singular vision, that's kind of still a fundamentally collaborative project between all of the people who bring it to fruition, you know what I mean? Um, so I'd love if there was something similar for... I died in that corner over there, right? Let's see, I could go there and fight those guys again, which is risky, or I could try and... That's going to be a hard no from me. I do not want to get shot by five ballistas, all of which are capable of firing three bolts simultaneously. Seems kind of excessive. Is there a staircase here? A staircase would be real chill for me right now. Hey man. Sorry to surprise you like this. I'm sure that you were having a perfectly happy time here in your spider egg hole. Um, you know, sometimes we all have areas of Sometimes we all have periods of stress in our lives and all we really want to do is retreat to the spider hole and I, I empathize with that. I've, I've been in the spider hole in my life. I, you, you could argue I'm in the spider hole right now. But um, sometimes, sometimes you've got shit to do and it's important that you accept that you have some shit to do and you just get the fuck out of the spider hole. Um, oh Christ, please don't kill me. Which is not something many people say, generally speaking. Um, as divine figures go, he was notable for his desire to not have people be killed. Alright, so if I get if I just sprint across this buttress, I should be able to get around behind the crossbow guys. It's gonna be risky. If they hit me, they'll knock me into the courtyard and I'll have to fight those giant motherfuckers again. What are they even called? The grafted scions, that's what they're called. Right, hide behind this pillar, and of course, of course, this is the poison, poison place with lots of poison. Lovely. Why is everything like this? I sob, desperately trying to evade Hidetaka Miyazaki's favorite thing, more goddamn poison. I do actually have a weapon specifically formulated for fighting these. Where is it gone? There it is. I probably should put some of these in an item box instead of carrying fucking everything all of the time. And I did indeed forget to equip my magical poison resistance thingamajig. Anyway, these are not very frustrating, but probably the most irritating enemy to fight in the game. Um, because they just take goddamn forever. Um... Very often you don't have to fight them, you can just leave. But one of the downsides of playing this game is occasionally you have to actually do some stuff. You can stagger them, as you saw, and but you get a very, very, very small window to actually land an attack when that happens. And um, even if you do manage to land it, you do barely any damage because, hey, guess what? Giant flowers, not known for their weak points. Um, you know, it's not like you can mimic the effect of a sudden frost. Or whatever else farmers don't like happening. There we go. You'd think killing it would end its spell, but it doesn't. Also, they don't really make super amounts of sense to me. I don't know why um, giant flowers have the capacity to... Oh, fuck off. Have the capacity to um, summon blasts of light from the sky? I'm already infected though, so it doesn't really matter if you keep 
keep spunking out your horrible spores. I have hay fever a lot in real life, so this is kind of a very cathartic moment for me. Wow, this guy's made of iron. Alright, time to go back to my good weapon. The Dark Moon Great Sword plus 10. That's right, it's worth 10. Ordinary Dark Moon Great Swords. Oh, I hope I don't attract any attention from those guys. And then everything was fine. Oh, would you look at that? It is, in fact, my stuff. I love to recover my stuff. One might say that recovering your stuff is one of the main experiences of playing Dark Souls. I mean, Elden Ring. I'm going to keep calling it Dark Souls. You're just going to need to accept that about me. What's in here? Nothing. Fun fact, uh, the Natural History Museum of London has a lot of really interesting and delightful displays and objects and architectural layouts and so on. Um, I don't know how many have, have were, in fact, plundered as a component of colonialism, but Probably less than the British Museum or most of the, you know, historical artifact museums. So it's got that going for it, which is nice. But um, one of the things that always amused me is in the Earth galleries, which are more, more educational and more about the, like, Earth sciences rather than paleontology and so on. There is a giant stone, beautifully carved bowl, roughly the size of this. And it's just sitting there on a on a bridge between two mezzanine levels. Um, the architecture there is lovely as well. And as a kid, I was desperate to see what was in it. I was sure there was some fascinating secret in it. As I slowly grew, you know, because I loved those museums, I would visit them constantly. As I slowly grew up, I slowly got tall enough. And eventually I was able to hop and just boost myself enough to catch a glimpse. And do you know what it was full of? Fucking trash just decades and decades of people throwing their garbage in there instead of into the bins because the bins were like 10 meters away. I feel like this is some kind of metaphor for the human condition, but um, I'm too addled right now to successfully interpret it. So this is left as an exercise for the reader, which is an incredibly useful phrase. Uh, right, let's fuck these guys up. Okay, so I get 200 with my magic arrows and I get... 200 with my non-magic arrows. So either these guys are resistant to magic, or magic is fucking bullshit. Oh, I love to chain headshots. <laughs> uh, it always has the energy of, like, you know, try a new tactic, my guy. Uh, right, let's summon my good, good buddy, and let's fuck up another tree. It's just you and me. I wish that the mimic tier would mimic the emote you do, because it would be really good to try, like, do a high five. Nothing. Completely blanked. My god, it's just like me in my real life. Uh, right, so if I try and get the drop on him... And then don't- don't immediately die! <laughs> oh, oh god damn it, it's the rotting ones. I keep forgetting about the rotting ones. Wait, I have 10 million hit points. I'm just gonna go- I mean, 10 million souls. Fuck! I'm going, bye! Because I can level up like three times with this, which will- help, probably, in some way. I'm just gonna leave. I do not wish to participate in the share zone. <laughs> I absolutely need to find some more... Uh, what's the word? What are they even called? Sites of Grace, there we go. Wow. I was not joking about those noun problems. Right, I should probably try and explore down there at some point as well. Um, and it, actually, now that I think about it, I killed that root monster, so I should explore down there as well, on his his little um, ring wall with its lovely, delightful buttresses. But yeah, Gothic architecture actually constantly returns uh, in, in the FromSoft series. You know, there's like five different places, at least, in every Souls game that is influenced by it. Right, level up. Let's hit 40 vigor. Apparently I should have something like 50 by now because people think that my 70 intelligence is too high. And I say, well, have you considered how much damage I do when I cast spells once every hour? 
Um, it's a lot. Especially if I wear my stupid hat that makes me look like a question mark. How many? Yeah, I can get level three, three whole levels. Where should I put the rest of them? Um, boom, slam, straight also into Vega. Actually, I keep running out of stamina. Hmm. No, everyone's going to make fun of me because my health bar is so tiny. Everyone's all like, ha, 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 you have a tiny health bar. You know, in, in the showers at the at the, the Twitch streamer, uh, you know, gym. Everyone makes fun of your... Um... You know, some groups of people, they make fun of your, your follow account, and some of them, they make fun of your how many hit points you have. Um... It really depends a lot. Anyway, I think we all know that it is far more important what you do with your hit points than how many of them you have. And that was a miss, and that was a hit, and that's fine. So I'm going to hop down here and see what the whole deal was with the guy who kept killing me. Um, because I never explore these places in a logical fashion, because I'm fundamentally not just a, just not a logical person. That's... Oh, I bet that... Okay, that's probably a shortcut to the ground floor courtyard down there. Um, when I went up here, what did that get me? That got me... A short... Not a shortcut. That got me onto a balcony that let me look down on the ballista guys, I th think. Or maybe on someone else. It's probably going to be useful to me to go shoot them full of arrows or possibly magical brain darts, which is also an option when you're me. If I hit this, does it... It does not ring. That's a huge shame. Death ahead, therefore seek circling around. <laughs> Tried jump attack, but still no sound. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's it's heartbreaking. Uh, right, so that leads around to the archer guys. And there's nothing else to do up here, I don't think. But I could kill them and then just come back, so I think I'm going to do that. Just so that they don't sneak up behind me, which they have a nasty habit of doing. Now, I went in here already, didn't I? I wonder what was in here. Oh, it's a staircase. Oh, shit. This is the other side of a door I went through, like, two hours ago. I say, only having streamed for one hour. <laughs> but no, there's a doorway in here. So that goes up to there. So that's actually, there's a way to get to the top of that more easily so that you can climb down to there, which is where the lift is, if you ever wanted to do that. And I don't know why you would. These guys don't know I'm here. Oh, no, that one does. Now, if you are a wizard, you usually have noodly little arms, so you don't usually use giant two-handed weapons. The reason I'm using this one is that it scales with intelligence, and that's why I am confident in my 70 intelligence points. My frankly silly amounts of brain power. What was I doing? Oh, right. <laughs> my vast amounts of brain power, I say, constantly forgetting what the fuck I'm doing. Anyway, so we're going to go down here, and then we're going to drop down onto here and scoop a loop and look around and yeah there's stuff on the bridge fantastic so i should be able to jump to the bridge from here just fine and then when i get down to the bottom of that courtyard eventually that'll open this shortcut probably um and that's the, probably the back side of the gallery with two uh two guys in or is that on a lower level of the same side down i don't want to go down i'm going to stay here Anyway, so I've made a lot of complaints about Elden Ring in the earlier videos. I'm I'm just trying to enjoy it and, and not complain about it this time. Um, and it does sound like there's about to be a butt coming, but... Uh, ooh. Somber Dragon. Those are the highest level uh, crafting ingredients. So if I drop... Hmm, I could drop down to the courtyard from here, but I really don't want to. I should explore this area first because I can't get back up if I do that. Um, and of course, if I do open that shortcut, it would make my life a lot easier. But yeah, so the same... <laughs> one of the themes that FromSoft are absolutely obsessed with is circularity and kind of like the necessary repetition of existence, the kind of cycles of existence and life. You know, as the season change and the year repeats and... Oh, there's a fucking Crystallian. 
Precious item ahead. <gasps> Ooh, a secret. Oh wait, no, don't go down. Ah, oh, fuck. That does not help me. That's a place I've been already. And that's the, the route that... Yeah, that's where all the crystallians that I ran from previously were. They were in here. And I forgot to equip my magic spell that makes poison go away. Which I really need to do because everybody here is a fucking poison guy. I wonder if... Oh shit. Hmm. Actually, if I brought... I've, I have a sorcery that does physical damage. If I brought that, I'd probably be a lot more effective at fighting these guys. Can I create magic pots that will do physical damage? Uh, fire, magic, holy, poison, rot. That does... Hmm, flies do bleed damage. I don't know if these guys care about bleed damage. They're made of crystal. Frost, sleep. Sleep could be interesting. Fire AoE. Oh, Vengeful Spirits. Uh, cursed Blood. I like I like to imagine sort of like riffling through through a kind of a wallet, you know, like popping open a little leather case full of full of vials. Hmm, I could put some Cursed Blood. Or maybe I should use Albinuric Blood. Hmm. I'm going to use some of these and see what happens. I've never used them before. Let's see, what have we got in my extremely large array of items that I have and never use? I could, I could throw a bolt mat in, that's always an option. Uh, let's have a look, see, what else What else would be horrible to you if you were a crystal person made of crystal? Probably bombs, right? Nobody likes bombs. Well, that did nothing. Okay, that has created an area of cursed blood, but I don't know what, <laughs> what that means or to what extent is a problem for him. I don't think he cares. Wubble, 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 flub to you too, good sir. Well, I could go down and fight it manually, I suppose. Or I could run away again. That's always an option. And it may in fact be my only option right now. How do I... I've played 140 hours of this game and I don't know what Cursed Blood does. I've been afflicted with Cursed Blood, but nobody told me what it did. Hmm. That looks like that's the elevator shaft, so maybe this isn't where that shortcut goes to. Ah, oh, mystery. Oh, hang on. Let's just grab my buddy. To make my life a lot easier. Is this the Crystallian rune? Yeah, this is the room where they are. If I lure him out and my friend fights him, that would make life a bit easier. Hey, how about you hit it instead of not that? How about you land some melee hits on this guy? There we go. It's a fun mechanic, but I, I really can't stand the ones that inflict rot damage as well. There's a boss that's three of them, and it's literally impossible. Like, I cannot figure out oh, any way to make any headway against it. Oh shit, okay. Huh. Didn't know you were allowed to use my items, but good for you. This thing can't come in here, I don't think. Doesn't need to! Well, that was close. Uh, do I have poison removing things? I have exactly one. Hey, welcome to videos game. I'm doing all right at it. You've, you've missed me being incredibly competent for an hour and now is the second hour in which I become increasingly less competent. Can't even fucking speak. Anyway, me and my buddy here, who is also me, are gonna just slap the absolute shit out of some crystal men because they suck and I hate them and they deserve it. Oh, 
Well, you know, you're here now, so that's the important thing. Because now is the point at which several people have stopped watching, which is completely reasonable, and I understand that most human beings cannot sit and watch me play video games for three hours solid, but it always does bum me out a little bit secretly. I have... Uh, have I ever even managed you? You have no idea what my managerial style is like. Maybe I'm a real bitch. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I hate these things so much. There we go. Right, now you'll actually take some damage. For anyone who doesn't know. Uh, the mechanic. Wait, hang on, I'm right about what? Oh, I'm all right. Okay. Would help if I actually read the messages, wouldn't it? Anyway, so I finally fucking killed these things. So now I've looted everything in this room, which means I never have to come back here ever again. Um, because the correct emotion for a lot of situations in Elden Ring is actually, fuck this. I don't want to do this anymore. Especially when you are poisoned, or doubly poisoned, with two different kinds of poison that poison you differently. Um... Which I suppose is analogous to real life, but not something most video games do. Actually, no, I suppose a lot of JRPGs have like a poison and then also like plague. Uh oh, I know what that noise means. It's this guy, my least favorite enemy in the entire game. Can't stand him. That's the way the cookie crumbles. By which I mean, that's the way I am brutally murdered. Okay, well at least I know where to go this time. So, the ongoing battle of attempting to explore Elphile Brace of the Halig Tree continues. Might not finish this one on stream because, you know, we're an hour in and I'm still at the first, uh, first grace. These places can take like four hours, five hours to explore fully. I had intended to explore it fully on stream, but, um, I'm not gonna, like, stream- I, I, I can't stream back to back every single day, and I can't stream for more than about two hours on a given day because my- literally my COVID damaged lungs cannot take it. So, I find myself at an impasse, or indeed a quandary. Wait, hang on, I got 12,000 souls just for killing those guys? Wow. This really is late game. Anyway, I died down there, but I want to explore what's in this room first. Oh, that's right. It's more of the crystal guys I hate. There's an extremely large number of status effects, and very few of them are manageable for me right now, because yet again, I forgot to bring my magic spell... That cures all ailments, which is something I wish I had in real life, but don't. It's just this guy, it's just this guy, it's just this guy, and no one else. These ones are the- there's three variants of these. There's ones with spears, ones with chakrams, and these ones with magic staves, or staffs. Um, these ones are probably the most dangerous because if they hit you, they will just hit you 15 times and you die. <laughs> Which is something this game does a little bit too often, for my taste. Oh, that's all that was here. Okay. Uh, and over there... Okay, that's a room with guys in... Right, what am I missing? What am I forgetting? Okay, so the next... So the next avenue of progress is a bunch of different paths that lead over to that mini-boss over there. Or I could go down and finish exploring downstairs fully first, which I think is what I'm going to do. Because um, provided I remember to fight them first, I should have no trouble killing the centipoid grafted scions. What they're doing here, I don't know. One of the real criticisms I have of Elden Ring as, a pez, as, as opposed to Dark Souls is that, like, in the Dark Souls games, the locations of enemies is kind of important to understanding the nature of the world. You you might see a couple of guys a couple of times and then later you find out where they live. And it's like, interesting, interesting. This is interesting data to add to my understanding of this place. 
Um, or you might enter a new place and see something you've never seen before. And then, you know, the, the way they're woven together is in, as an important way of understanding it all. In Elden Ring, there's just kind of bits of everything everywhere. Why are there grafted scions here? I don't know. There probably shouldn't be grafted scions here based on the theming of the zone and the logic of the zone. Um, and the logic of what grafted scions are and where they come from. And yet, here they are. You know? Um, similarly, why are there... I suppose there's rotten crystallians here because they're infected by the rot and maybe it has a kind of a... Uh, sort of a cordyceps fungus type dealy going on where, where they're drawn to the origin of it. Oh, I mean, I completely understand... Um, I completely understand why they have done it uh, in a mechanical sense. I completely understand why they have chosen to, to create a standard set of things and populate the entire world with them. However, it's detrimental. I think it's, I think that, that is actually detrimental. Um, I have been very good about not complaining about this game this time. I've like three or four previous streams of just complaining. So on this one, I've been focusing on talking about why it's good and what I'm enjoying and generally being more entertaining. Um, but I do, straight up, I don't think that um, the open world structure and the necessities of, the, the, the necessities that, uh, the, the design decisions that an open world game necessitates, let's say, uh, I don't think they gel well with what FromSoft do and the way that FromSoft do their games, and FromSoft have not adapted the kind of game they're making to better fit the open world structure, and they haven't really adapted the open world structure to better fit the kind of game they're making, not 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 on any level more than the most superficial. Um, I don't think that taking a few extra months to design a few extra enemies would have made any difference, really. Because it's not it's not the designs themselves, it's the it's the fundamental nature of the open world game. I'm perfect like I'm fine in a in an open world game with the repeated enemies and that kind of stuff. Um I I don't think it I I think that the FromSoft style of game loses something um something special that just they had yeah they are the most frustrating enemy in the game i think um like my top three enemies i hate fighting in the game they're like number two uh and then number one is probably the bird things in okay i've been in there and got everything the bird things in Kaled, which it's they do something strange to my brain and I don't really know how to describe it but something about the way they're animated makes me angry like I actually get quite upset when they're there and I have to fight them it feels like they're insulting me with every single motion that they make now is that because I have brain damage since covid and I am hallucinating and shit which is the thing that happens occasionally probably not in this instance because that's not the kind of situations that are happening but i'm just saying you know maybe i'm irrational about it now but it's those enemies specifically just the way they move it feels like an insult to me it feels like it just it makes me angry and infuriated and completely irrational <laughs> and i don't know if they're intended to do that i don't know if that was like a design goal <laughs> from the developers um fuck them if so But that's uh, all I have to say about that, really. Uh, there is a reason why I use Starlight instead of a memory, uh, instead of a, a lantern. One is that it covers a much wider area. And frankly, any game that has like darkness, where you are at risk of running into things in the darkness, I hate it. I cannot stand not having the maximum visibility at all times. So that's that's the main reason. That's what it basically boils down to. Um, but the second reason it, and, and the sacrifice of one memory slot really is not a lot to me because I have about 10 memory slots right now. Um, so I'm kind of perfectly happy to lose one memory slot in order to, in order to just be able to see what I'm fucking doing. It's probably not, it's probably going to be very cost inefficient to use these stones to restore my mimic tears hit points. I should probably just go. <laughs> I could try dismiss. I don't know if you can resummon a dismissed spirit. 
looks like you can't, which means I'm going to have a hard time fighting the guy at the top of here. Um, they they do they drop an AOE on the ground that heals every every ally that's inside them. So uh, it's the only way I've seen that will let me actually heal my my buddy, my friend, my good time boy. Oh, I can summon him again. Fantastic. And he comes back with full health. <gasps> I'm a genius. That's the first time I've ever tried that. <laughs> 140 hours in and um, I'm only now being forced to come up with novel tactics. Anyway, let me prep for this fight because it might be a tough one. Not, I've, I've killed a hundred of these things, but this one specifically is the rot variant, which means it will be <sighs> shitting angrily all over the place because, you know, FromSoft loves to have angry shitting trees in these games now. Um, which covers a huge AoE and does a shit ton of damage. It both inflicts rot, obviously, but it also, very frustratingly... Oh shit, there's knights as well? This is not a fun place to be, my dudes. I wonder if they can get inflicted with the rot. Whoa, that was close. I'm probably going to die again. You know, yep, there we go. Still, I have fully explored downstairs now, so I don't have to go back down there. I wonder where that shortcut goes. Yeah, a lot of the items that do stuff use FP, which is a shame, because I like to consider- Oh, ah! I nearly forgot again. I nearly forgot the tenth time in a row. But this time I remembered. See, I've got a shit ton of memory slots. Uh, I've actually got a lot more than it looks, because this one takes three, I think. Oh wait, no, wait, slots used one. Hang on a second, that can't be right. <gasps> wait, they only take one? What the fuck? Which ones took more? I thought I had one that took three. Apparently not. Uh, let's take Comet. Let's take Stars of Ruin. Let's take... Um, hmm... I could use Frost Sorcery. Oh, hang on. Let's take Rock Sling for physical damage. And let's not forget the main reason I came here, which is Law of Causality. Wait, no, that's not it. Law of Regression. That's the one. Law of Regression is an int-based... Um... How do I make it show the other... Oh, whatever. Law of Regression is an, an int-based sorcery, so because I am very clever and I have a very light weight uh, spellcasting thingy, now I should be able to cure all of my problems. Anyway, so I'm gonna... Right, my next goal is to try and beat that giant fucking tree, because that's, as far as I can tell, the only remaining bottleneck between me and the rest of this entire zone. That's the first time one of these explosions have hit me. You know what, I'm just, I'm actually gonna, I'm making a lot of use of these. I have 19 more of them back in my storage container, I guess is what you could call it. Um, oh, I know, if I pop this as well. Actually, I'm running low on those. I've only got 10. I had 18 last time I checked. I think there's a few places that still sell them that I haven't, that I haven't bought them from, so that's something to keep an eye out for. Now, I need... Okay, if I go down this way and fucking die from the fall... No, we're alright. <laughs> uh, right, what I want to do is get over that side, actually. now that I think about it. Because if I... Oh, you get Runox from co-op. Uh, I should probably do some co-op. 
I have never once left my summon sign to help someone else because I'm fundamentally selfish. Woo, hi. Bye, guys. I don't want to fight you right now. I'm leaving. Goodbye. You're not worth the effort of killing. Maybe I should just sit down and do some co-op for a while. I haven't, like, I've ne never normally needed them, so I haven't been using them very much, but uh, it probably would be a good idea. Oh, hang on. This is where that crystal, crystallion was. So where I want to go is actually down. So if I go down here and don't fall and die, then that lets me get onto here and don't fall and die. Let's me go on here. Which lets me go on here. Which lets me go down here. I could summon my mimic, but if I'm fast, I shouldn't need it. If I can just get on the ladder and get out of the way. Um, if I take it back, I'm probably going to need it. Just because I hate fighting these things properly. They, they just suck. <laughs> anyway, I'm running a little bit low on mental energy, so I'm probably going to stop talking more often. Um, and I definitely need to not talk when I'm fighting things, or I will uh, die terribly. Oh yeah, this this area is really tightly layered. Um, step one for me of exploring any uh, of the legacy dungeons, well, actually every single area of the entire game is to constantly examine everything for connected like roots and ways that they connect together. Um, and I have found a great many. I think my mimic can come up here, maybe. Can I get through here without? Hey, nice. Didn't know you could teleport. Can you teach me to do that? Now, if we're sneaky, we can get through here and out the other side without having to fight two clean rot knights. Sneaky, sneaky gets it done. Fantastic. Anyway, this is a good idea because that will let us get the drop on the angry tree. Uh, which may, in fact, be necessary to deal with it because fucking I hate those things. The ordinary trees, the ordinary angry trees are fine. You know, they're a pain to deal with, but whatever. But this is an angry shitting tree, which means it has shit powers as well. Um, I regret how much I'm saying shit today, but whatever. I could fight the tree or the knights. I can't fight the tree and the knights. Anyway, don't say you never learned anything from me. I'm incredibly useful. I'm a public asset, let's say. Where's my bow? There it is. You cannot use the ballistas, which incredibly sucks. I was really upset uh, to discover that. Uh, especially considering you can only get to them by doing a bunch of bullshit in um, the first Legacy Dungeon. They have like fire breathing ones and they have like, like fire cannon thingies and they also have these ballista. Um, and I was like, yeah, fantastic. This is great. And then... I, got, I reached it and I killed all the guys and then, no, you're not allowed to use them. Against the rules. Verboten. You don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. You don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. Which is probably the... Oh, that was close. One of the more irritating things people say. So if I can wipe these knights out first... Then I'll have an acceptable time fighting the tree, and the tree won't respawn, so then after I do that I'll have a much easier time getting through here. The next time. Wow, most of that went to waste. Now, you can't fall while using a melee attack. Secret secret fact that you may not know, but um if your if your melee sw if you it a lot of a lot of attacks include movement, like these step forwards. Um, but if you if you make a melee attack that takes you off the edge, it just doesn't, which is a nice little quality of life thing. Uh, but I don't know that that's true for spell casting. Oh, it looks like it is. Unfortunately, I'm out of this guy's range. What about spiral? Will that hit? I'm trying. I'm trying not to wake the tree up. <laughs> That was close. Hmm. 
Okay, that was an acceptable amount of damage, I guess. Where's the other one gone? Hmm, yeah, see, good to know, so I do have to be careful about that. Where the fuck did they go? Are they hiding? They're not allowed to do that, that's my thing. This buttress must be here so that you can- oh, hang on, you can probably jump onto that. If I jump onto that, can I get around behind them and backstab them? I bet I can. So this buttress is here so you can reach that room. Oh, there's a grace. That'll make life a lot easier. Uh, assuming that that is not a lie. Electry Night Helm. Aha! So there is a grace. Okay. Right. Okay, so I guess I kind of completely rinsed the first zone, apart from wherever that shortcut lift that I haven't activated yet comes from. There is literally nowhere else I can reach from this area. I've, I've explored every path, unless there is one behind an invisible wall that I didn't notice. Um, okay, that's good to know. So if I come down here... Visions of Dog? Ah, yeah. Uh, hmm. Well, the fire incantations do have more of a motion, but I suspect that if fire incantations will let you fall, so will anything else. Huh, this could be... Can he fit in here? Well, at least I won't have far to go if I die horribly. Alright, let me see if I can get the backstab on this one. There we go. The AoE attack these things have is so rough. The sheer damage output that they have is incredible. They knock you down, and then the entire time you're on the ground after having been knocked down, you'll be taking damage. Um both from the AoE and from the rot itself. It's really rough. And they can heal as well, so that's cool. I would like to go inside, please. Someone told me I should go outside and touch Grace and look what happened. Yeah, I don't think that one can fit in here. This guy can, but that's fine. I can fight, I can fight a guy. I say, immediately before getting blasted to death by his spear. I should be able to get the stagger on him. God, the hit points these guys have. Yeah, that enemy did in fact restore to full health. These guys are all like divine holy knights, so they all have a bunch of like healing magic and- What the fuck? Oh, you're allowed in here? I didn't know we were letting dogs on the furniture. Well, that was interesting. So hit and run tactics are out, I guess. Although... Although, although, I could go for the backstab, run back inside, climb up the ladder, and then they'll be t they'll be having a hard time then, won't they? I don't even need to fight this thing. What am I doing? Oh, but they can heal. Right, right, right. Ha <laughs> ha! My dumbass is stupid. Anyway, ladder, 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 ladder. So if they want to chase me up here, they'll have to actually fight fair. Which is all I've ever really asked from my opponents, frankly. Oh, hey, come back! Excuse me? Sir, we were busy. We had something going on. Motherfucker. Okay. Well, he's just going to heal back to full, isn't he? Maybe I should just cheese that one out of the way. Just have done with it. It'd be very easy to do from here. Be slow, like the one I cheesed previously. At the start of this stream, which took fucking ages. Although, we are right next to a bonfire, so I I could respect to have a bunch more healing healing doodads. I'll tell you what though, before I do anything, I am going to put on all of my snazziest wizard outfits. Right, hat that makes me look like a question mark. 
Oh, that's the wrong option. There we go. Okay, hat that makes me look like a question mark. Wow, oh, Jesus Christ, these guys drop this. That's really weird. There must be much higher drop rates here than elsewhere in the game world. Because these I've all gained today. Um, and I only ever got like two of these dropped ever when I was fighting them instead. And I fought them as much as I fought these guys. Right, hat that makes me look like a question mark. Uh, brain cancer talisman, because fun fact, sorcery gives you brain cancer. This is just a true fact about the nature of this world, unfortunately. Um, I have something... Uh, do these, these boost glintstone sorceries? But I don't think this is a glintstone sorcery that I'm about to unleash on this motherfucker. Or completely whiff. Let's try that again. No! There we go. Okay, that's a bit more like it. Is he inside? What is he doing? Oh yeah, he's standing underneath now. Trick's on him. I'm outside. Aha! Right, so... One of the interesting things about the way the open world works... Oh, um, question. Are there any fire-related sorceries? Sorry I missed your question. Let's have a quick look at my... So I've... Just for a preamble for anyone who's not seen any of this previously, I have explored almost all the entire game world in an exhausted level of detail that most players don't. Most people just go through the critical path, hit up the main bosses, finish the game, whatever. I've seen so many people say, wow, I finished this game three times. Like, okay, but have you? You've only played 60 hours. Um, like, bitch, when I finish this game, I will have fucking finished it, okay? So, in all of that time, I have uncovered a great many sorceries. So, let's have a look at my magic. So, these are glintstone sorceries. These are primal glintstone sorceries. These are carrion sorceries. Um, including these ones, which I've never actually used, which summon the moon, which I probably should try out because they require 70 intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> They're the highest intelligence spells in the game, I sh and I've never tried using them. Um, here we go. Magma Shot, Rolling Magma, and Rick Rickard's Rancor all do uh, fire damage. Fires a lump of magma. Uh, fires a lump of condensed magma. And uh, searing spirits that leave a trail of delayed explosions in their wake. There's also frost sorceries. Uh, these ones do physical damage, I think. Um, these ones... I don't know what the deal is with these ones. I got them from, from clay men who live underground, so deal with that what you will. These do physical damage and bleed damage, I think. This one summons skeletons who do damage. That one does death build up, and that one does, I think, just sorcery damage, but I'm not sure. Oh, are they weak to... They're actually weak to fire damage, are they? Because I've been wondering that this entire time. Give me two seconds to put the lights on in here, because... Literally, the sun has gone down while I've been talking. <sighs> I think that the magma sorceries take faith, though. Um... Yeah, they need 10 faith, and as you can see, I only have 7, which is about as low as it's possible to get. But I do have a flaming sword, so that's that's worth knowing. Anyway, so that's that's magic. Anyway, so fun fact that you may find useful if you find yourself ever needing to cheese something uh, in this game. Anyone? Most bosses um, who don't have enclosed boss arenas have a... Um, a certain radius and if you kite them to outside of that radius they fade out just like that one faded out right there and then respawn back at their previous position however their hit points don't reset unless you actually leave the like entire game zone oh huh why can't i hear anything can you guys hear me Huh, I think I muted my mic, by, uh, muted my thing by accident. Anyway, can you hear me? Okay, great. Um, 
Yeah, there's a there's a mute button on my microphone cable, which is inconvenient. Anyway, so if you can lure an enemy back and forth across that line, you can pretty much freely blast the shit out of it as much as you like, uh, and it cannot stop you. The first rotted um, erd tree root thingy like this that I fought, um, I found too much of an irritating thing to fought. So what I did was I rode torrent and um, I would uh, hit it once with Loretta's great bow, <laughs> ride outside of its um, radius so that it reset back to its previous position and then rinse and repeat over and over and over. Ugh. Just outside being able to hit it easily. So that's a very useful trick if you happen to need to cheese something. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, no, we're okay. We're all right, it's fine. Clever girl. I do like that the NPCs and bosses and things do seem to have, like, backup tactics that they'll pull out if you're cheesing them. The game clearly doesn't want you to cheese like this because it's, like, visibly refuses to let me lock on for more than a fraction of a second, and I will run out of mana if I'm not careful. Although, I do have plenty of these. I might be able to do enough damage to it that I can finish it off with my sword. No, I know that's why I'm whiffing. It's just previously it was resetting itself even when I didn't, like, lure it through. So um, I was hoping it would just do that anyway. I'm well aware that that's why it's whiffing. Or well, I'm whiffing. Oh, shit. Hi. Hello. Okay. Um, Who gave you permission? I'm kind of in the middle of something right now, dude. These guys must have insane poise, what the fuck? Right, back to what I was doing before I was rudely interrupted. I love the, the, the pile of pots and pans noise those guys make when they fall the fuck over, fuck over. See, he didn't reset because he didn't move far enough. But I should be able, maybe can hit him now, maybe. Oh, I could only hit him with one, whoops. Oh boy. close. I wonder what I did that actually managed to provoke them enough that they moved that time. Okay, out of mana. I'm gonna I'm gonna waste another one of my incredibly rare starlight shards, which are a non-renewable resource that you only get in a few places in the game. Now, is it going to spot me if I come over here? Is that its back? I think that's its back. Yeah, okay, right. So if I blast it with this and then run away, I'm going to run out of mana and then it's going to kill me. Oh, if I die after all of this... <laughs> Reset, you fucker. You can't chase me down here, can you? It cannot. I can probably pepper it with arrows to finish it off. Let's see how he likes being feathered. 
Where's my good bow? I really need to put this shit in my magic box. Oh, he disappeared. Fantastic. And I've got spells back. Also fantastic. Okay, let's try and do that properly. And that was a waste. This should be a successful cheesing of an irritatingly placed boss. They have they have had a good uh, a good run of putting bosses in places where they're kind of unfairly difficult to fight. There we go. That's him dealt with. Which is surprising. Um, from sort of normally quite good about that sort of thing, but there are quite a lot of things located in. Ooh, visions of dog, stone astrolabe. What the fuck? I don't see either of those in there. Um, anyway, so we can actually continue on and explore the rest of the dungeon now. Finally, after all of that. Um, so let's put my good clothes back on. My horrible, ugly strength boosting mask. Oh, it's only plus two strength, actually, huh? Maybe I should get a little bit more weight ability and then have this for... Boosted. It's two endurance, two faith, two arcane. Uh -huh. No, I guess that's pointless. I guess all of the bonuses are quite small, except for the, the hat I'm currently wearing. Hmm. I might try boosting my stamina. I am using quite a lot of it. Anyway, time to head on and explore further. I mean, actually, that would probably... That would normally be a really good place to call it because it's been two hours. But I want to see how much further I can get today. Oh, oh, fuck you. I hate these things. Am I really going to try... What's in the chest? <sighs> I'm not going to fight those right now, but I'm going to come back to them and, um... If I find out that there is something decent in that chest, I will try and fight them, but I, I really hate fighting those. If there's three of them, they basically overlap their, their, their shots and are seemingly impossible to beat. I know they're not impossible impossible, because obviously some players beat everything, but, um... I've never managed to get even close to beating a trio of those guys. Oh, interesting. This is pretty. So this looks like a fairly linear access point. Didn't see anything else in here. I think I've completely and utterly rinsed that opening area with nothing else left to find. Um, right. This looks stinky. What is this, the sixth poison swamp? Um, I don't see any secret places to go, though. Oh, hi, what are you? Oh, it's these things, I hate them. Yeah, get wrecked. Those are called pests, but I will consistently call them prawns because they look like prawns to me. Uh, you know, I am going to call it a night here, actually. Uh, either I will finish exploring this place by myself, or I will... Actually, you know what? Um, I'm going to end this stream here, and then maybe... I'll do a silent stream next, uh, exploring a bit more of this place, and because I kind of, I kind of don't, I want to be finished with this game. I've had enough of this game. I had enough of this game forty hours ago, but I'm just, I'm so close to actually finishing it. Um, but I can't stream for more than two hours at a sitting, and I can't stream every day because of other daily responsibilities and so on. So I'm not sure how that should work out otherwise. Thanks for watching, thanks for being here, thanks to my Patreon patrons and anyone who's donated to me on Coffee, which everyone should do because I deserve it. 
Um, anyone who's watching who doesn't already know, I have a YouTube channel where I make carefully planned, in-depth, critical Let's Plays, and I also add the uh, archives of these streams as well. I'm slowly recovering, maybe. I'm optimistic today because I slept. I actually slept. Slept? Three nights in a row, which is astonishing. <laughs> Uh, and I think it's been reflected in a in a broadly more more levitous tone today. Anyway, so uh, I might stream a bit later silently, and I might stream tomorrow silently. So keep an eye out for that if you're curious on watching me fight the boss of this place. But that's going to be all from me for now. <laughs>